Welcome back, YouTubers. This is Greg. Glad you're with me. I thought it'd be uh, storytelling time. We're still in the first day of this whole starting up of the YouTube channel thing, and um, I'm just sort of getting used to speaking with everybody about what's on my mind. I thought I'd tell you a great story. So let's talk about the day that um, I get the car back from being damaged when I got T-boned. And then I've got, this Barton shifter has been sitting with me for almost six weeks. And it's driving me crazy. I keep taking it out of the box, so I'm not going to do a box unwrapping because all that shit's gone. Um, and it was funny, when I got into deciding to go ahead and do this, and I'm not a mechanic by any stretch of the means, but I've done my own brake jobs, and I've, you know, I... I like to, uh, I wanted to put my own shifter in. Now, I, I made mention of this one other YouTube station called Work, Play, Drive. And the guy is really phenomenal. I mean, he's got, he's a great father. He's a, he loves his Dodge Challenger. It's a daily driver for him. He's created a YouTube channel all about it. So I got hung up on that one day, and then I saw the Barton Shifter episode that he did. Of course, I have to tell you that this guy is more mechanically inclined than I am, and I mean, I'm no idiot by any means, but I gotta tell you that he made that thing look simple. He got that thing done in exactly 50 minutes, I think he said, or an hour, let's just call it an hour. From the time he took the dash out, took the other shifter out and replaced it, it was one hour putting it all back together. Now I know he's taken out the dashboard before, and once you've done this once, it's pretty easy to figure out how to do it a second time. You know, you just remember all that stuff. So, here I am, got the car back, wake up early on Sunday morning, and I'm like, baby, today is the day we're putting in the shifter. She's like, all right. I said, it's only gonna take me an hour, but let's just think, it's me doing it. There's something I'm gonna run into. I get it. So, I, I'm gonna, take two hours. Let's just say it's going to take two hours, starting at 9 o'clock in the morning. I'll be showered and driving down the road by noon today. She said, man, that'll be great. I said, I know. So we start down the road. You know, it was easy getting the console out. Everything went out very quickly, and in about, oh, I'd say uh, 20 minutes, I had the console out, the old shifter out, and then the trouble began. So I go to take off the arm bracket that you're supposed to take off of the other assembly that came with the car that's on the other shifter. And I'm trying to force this thing. And lo and behold, I snapped the fucking bolt. I mean, I put so much pressure on that thing and it just wasn't going to give up that I sheared the bolt off. So the screw part of it is still inside the, the screw housing, and I'm like, you gotta be kidding me. And I'm sitting here and I spend the rest of Sunday doing only one thing, going up to Ace Hardware and also to Pep Boys, trying to see how we can go ahead and drill this fucking thing out. At the end of the day that I had, I had even gotten the easy out backer out, and that sucker didn't work because that sheared off. I mean, I was like backing this thing out and that shears off. I'm like, no, you gotta be kidding me. So I'm sitting here with, I've, I've got I've got all of this shit all over the place. I got my car parked half in and out of the garage. And I can't do anything. And finally about five o'clock at night, I gave up. Uh, I hit Pep Boys trying to take it out. I tried to take it out. I'm racing around town trying to find another um, location for maybe a new bolt or something like that. I, you know, I was just doing all kinds of crazy shit. So Monday comes rolling around. I just I just said, I know what's going to happen. I'm going to buy a new part. I'll just buy a new part. So I go up to Dodge and I said, I need the part of the arm. And I said, and here it is. What can you do for me? Nothing. You got to buy the whole stick shift assembly. 
No! 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 Really? Yeah. I had to buy another factory mount stick shift. Take that piece off and put it on the Barton shifter before I could go back to work. I'm like, no problem. But here's the deal. I'm not breaking another fucking bolt. So I went down to the mechanic at Dodge and I said, when the part came in that same afternoon, I said, here it is. Take this piece off and I want you to do it so I don't break it. The guy looks at me like I was out of my mind. He said, you want me to do what? I said, I want you to, I want you to take that bolt out. I want that out. I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it again. He's like, no, you're kidding me. I said, no, I'm not kidding you, man. Just do it. He says, okay, boop, out. No problem. Had a snap-on drill. Boop. No problem. So he's looking at me like I'm half fucking crazy. I'm looking at him like I'm not going through another eight-hour day of fucking agony. And now I spent upwards of another $300 on a, on a fucking part that I can't even use. So I take the arm back. I got the rest of this mounting hardware that I can't even use anymore so that goes into a box go home put this whole thing together in like 35 minutes it took me to put it all together the hardest part was that pin that you've got to take your little finger and swing it around with a hook and some other shit and just drove me nuts but I got it in and then I started the car up kid you not start the car up and <clears throat> I followed exactly what Workplay Drive did. Exactly what he did. This fucking thing made more noise and, and was and was vibrating so hard and I could hear half of the world coming through the boot. I'm like, well, what the hell did I forget to put in? And I'm looking around like, did I forget something? I'm telling you, it drove me crazy. So... I drove it around a little bit and I said, you know, I put something in wrong. I said, I just have to go back in. And I gotta be prepared for this. Go back in and fix it. <clears throat> Fuck. So I did. So I came back and on Tuesday, I went ahead and got home early, got my shit on. I had this thing, I had the dash out, the Barton shifter unhooked again, and I found out after I watched the Barton video of how to put it in, that there's this block that goes in the back of this thing where the screws should be pointing forward toward the engine and not rear toward the trunk, which is what Workplay Drive did. I turned that around and then I reinserted you know, the, uh, the gasket around the boot and everything at, at the right point snugged it everything down again just made sure it looked right put it back together perfect it operated better it didn't have the vibration it didn't have the noise everything was great couldn't believe it so there is there is some things that you, you do need to you need to think about when you do the work on your car yourself and I mean, they can be funny adventures. And I thought at the end of the day, this is actually pretty funny. Although I spent a lot more money for this than I wanted to. But it was still an experience that I wouldn't trade because it was my car. It was my car, my stick shift. I got the Barton in, I took the factory shifter out and it was a project I had a lot of fun with. That's why I got the car. So at the end of the day, you guys might think I'm woo, a little wacky, but it was a great story. So I think that, you know, going into the end of this thing, there are probably going to be plenty of stories much like that, I would imagine, where if I'm self-performing a lot of this work, there's going to be drama. Trust me, there's always drama when it comes to me doing anything. But it'll be a lot of fun. And, and that's what this whole thing was supposed to be, was a lot of fun. And it's really carrying through. So I thought you might find that interesting. And, and uh, to, to work, play, drive, and to the burden... Um, six shift it is a great product um, one other mistake I made when that guy was on the video he got that uh, uh, I think it was a go man go or a go it was a grabber orange that's what it was and he had the ball with a grabber orange and then he had the Barton stick that had a grabber orange also but the ball 
in the stick shift with the writing on the side from Barton did not match at all as far as color. And I think his wife was giving him some, some heartache about that. And I had actually ordered it just like that because I was doing the same thing. He was going, man, that orange is like hot. I'm getting it. Uh, it, looked, it looked pretty terrible when I got it in the car. So when I saw it, I called up before I even put the shifter in the car. I called Barton up and I also ordered a different ball from Speed Dog that was, this is the racing, I think this is the racing stripe deal. It's got a little bit more, it's got a uh, kind of a deep black on the ball which matches all the paint on the car. And it's got this pearl gray inlay that is just killer. It just matches the car. And then I asked Barton if they could send me just a flat stock without the name on there. And they, man, I'll tell you what, these guys just, they're great. They sent me this. I've still got the other one I've got to send back to them now that I've got this in. And thank you, Barton, for doing that. And then I'm going to send back the, the orange ball and get my money back. But at the end of the day, the black and the pearl gray, thumbs up, way up really a cool cool deal so there are a lot of good things that you can do with this whole assembly and I mean I you know this is about having fun and loving what you do to your own car but I want things that are going to work in the car that are going to look aesthetically correct and not devalue the car because it's supposed to be a collector's edition so I'm not going to go crazy and make this thing look wild I want this thing to really be hot so with that being said thanks for letting me tell another story you'll probably hear a few more that were pretty good and uh, I'll see you later. Have a great day.